gang segue. Hope you stop here. This is your boy N R E. What yeah. up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Drink Chats Motherfucking Podcast. Make you some noise. <laughs> 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 And, and right now, and right now, y'all, y'all, y'all know, y'all know. Here, come over here, come over here, come over here. Listen, y'all know I give a, a crazy intro, but before I give the intro, I want to, you know, give respect to the people who've been following us. We got three million. I don't know if they're unique visits or the, is they unique? EFN? It's you unique, doing it, motherfucking doing it. listen, doing you it. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers that got this job, they went to college, they went to journalism school, they used to get their finger popped in their butt, oh, and ooh. and you know, <laughs> and, and we don't do that. We straight. We don't Street that. dudes and we motherfucking control in the area <laughs> and let's just make some noise for them three million motherfucking dudes. <laughs> and, you, and listen, we know we love record label. So listen, people, we need everybody. If you're gonna talk, so talk over here because we piss them on the mic. But listen, people, we got we know we love record label stories and record label, and we got two of the most controversial record labels. We in existence right now We got people that was involved With Death Row Records Let's make some noise For Death Row Records When they was popping And we also got g g g g g g Yes, sir. So listen, man, this is crazy, man. Daz, I'm going to start with you, Daz. Yeah, yeah. Because I seen you on the internet the other day uh, saying somebody was biting your style. Okay. Oh, uh, DJ Mustard. Oh, DJ Mustard? Is that what happened? Oh, oh my God. Yeah, what happened, You know what I'm Daz? saying? It's like, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. It's like, you know what I'm saying, uh, publishing companies, you know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. We got the same publishing company, so mm. Sony... Try to X us out mm. and give all the publishing to them. Mm. And which they didn't give us none. And we got 50% of the song, which is Who Got Some Gangsta Shit, mm. and Old Girl Song, which boom, is on boom, boom. Motown. Mm. So I just say, boom, 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 pay me, good luck. Like, mm. You hear me? Now, so, have you, you know, ever met Mustard? Yeah, 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 yeah. We seen each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But you know, they can all. Hey, is he, he from he from Cali he, too? Yeah, from Meanwood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. So now, yeah, yo. I'm gonna take it to you. How many people have you shot? Yeah, yo. Oh no, nah, man. You I shot a lot of people. That. You <laughs> shot a lot of people. Please, yo. Shoot nobody, man. Shoot nobody. Let's make some noise with you and these gangsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Now, corrupt young girl. You know I'm here. When you you are the most. Moon rock, when you oh moon yeah, rock, listen, I mean, you know I got it. Let's get straight into it, it come up. How did you invent this moon rock thing? I mean, you know, it was my partner. You understand me, Dr. Mm. Zodiac. He came with that with these Shout chemists. Shout out to Dr. Zodiac. He, yeah, mm. he had those chemists, man. We put them that thing together, man. We came with this miracle magic. You understand me? Intertwine this hash with this. Yo, but this. why California weed is better than New York weed? Like when you come that out, weather is better too. Let's make some noise uh, in California. Yeah, 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 The weather, the weather. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, smoke. Yeah, my yeah, man, fuck. What, what's that? It's shit weed everywhere around here. Whitehead cookies. Whitehead cookies. Whitehead cookies. Uh, uh, and where's the other shit? That's what people invent. Yo, I was at In and Out Burger all day smoking that shit, man. You know now I'm finna 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 now I'm Recipe. They don't hey, got hey, that now, shit in New York. Now, now I'm finna add a moon rock with that gorilla glue. Oh, yeah. mm. oh shit. So now with the moon rock, what is that created with? Is that um That's a kush? hash oil uh-huh. infused in it. Okay. Mm. OG Kush is oh the God. base core. Mm. You understand me? Mm. With that, we batter it like mm. chicken. When you cook chicken. <laughs> wow. Put it in a bag and Wow. You understand oh me? Goodness. Batter it in that in that in that keef. Wow. Yeah. Can we smoke some moon rock on the show? I mean, you yes, know, you can. We you can could, smoke, but smoke you know, whatever you want to bring it out here, guys, because oh, we flew. Yeah. Now Daz, I have never <laughs> got a Daz beat. Time. I'm I'm in the I'm in the business of getting a Daz beat. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I need I'm, a Daz beat. I'm with beat. it, I'm with it. You Yo, know, I didn't realize how much shit you produced, my dude. For real. Like oh, you're like you're you it's Dre than you to me. Yeah. Like, to me, like, like you know, I learned from Dr. Dre. So that's you know. that's a beautiful thing. I ain't mad at you. Whoa. That's a beautiful Who got thing. Some, uh, I What's ain't one of your favorite you. joints you produce, Dad? Shit, all right, ambitious of a rider. I Ooh. knew you was gonna Ooh. say that. Let's make some noise. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Pac is home. I said, mm. what? No, he's not. He said, come to the studio. I went to the studio. Daz and Superfly. Mm. They was the one. Boom, 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 boom. Damn. Boom, boom, boom. Daz was on the drum. Damn, I said, oh, my God, where's Pac at? And Pac came out. Ambitions and Arado was the first of song. Of Herman. Crazy. Wait, hold on. We need, to, we need to hear the story. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you listen to Pee Wee Herman. Doom, doom, Pee Wee Dance. Doom, 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 doom. Close to love. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Put the oh, shit. shit on top of it. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, that's ambitious and oh, a ride on that's my mama. Let's make some noise for that. Damn, Damn. 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 Now, also in the building, we got Capone. He ain't got a mic. You got to share, share with Capone. Man, what's up, man? Right. Oh, now, what's, listen, up, what's up? We're DPG, this is the first, CNN this, riders. This is the know first time right? CNN, I, I, DPG. I, I, everybody, they, they don't know we've been yeah, cool yeah. for years, but yeah. they haven't seen us in the same building at the same time. So I, ha- I had to ask my yes. boy Capone to fly out. But now, when I think of that, I think of you because next to him, when he came home from jail, you was the flyest nigga that came home from jail. Yeah, I, I was. Bro. You came home from jail. <laughs> you can't, like, like, Capone came home from jail with a Mink coat, right. a Benz, a right. uh, yeah. tour bus, a yeah. uh, limo, right. and, and the top floor of the yeah. Marriott. Yo, right. Right. Listen, out. listen, hip hop did a lot for me, man, and I, I got a shout out 50 because. Let's make some noise for 50 Cent, goddamn yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on. Oh, 50K do left rack the other day. 50K do left rack. I got a shout out Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> You got the worst horn ever, brother. Yeah, goddamn. My A-Rap brother, you got the worst horn ever, man. Hip-hop did a lot for a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, to come home and be embraced like that, you know what I'm saying? G-Unit was the biggest thing moving at that time. Yes, yes. The free Yayo movement was crazy. Yes, But, you know, I respect... Dudes like you, mm. Chris Lighty, mm. right. Dope right. Pound, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because I've been, like, for me, I had, like, my biggest moments in hip-hop already. Right. Like, I, right. I love hip-hop, but I had my big moments. I've been in right. the studio with M. Right. I've been in the studio with Dre. You understand what I'm saying? So right. it's like, I had so many big moments in hip-hop that I, I just loved the game. Even even y'all, nigga, like mm. CNN, War Report. I mm. wanna hear another one, man. Mm. Yes, we need so. you know, Tony, I'm gonna hey, I'm yes, tell you like I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give him the mic, give him the mic. Hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. Uh-huh. Your first single. Shh. Uh, that was my favorite record mm-hmm. you, wait, for like uh, two uh, years. Uh, addictive. Uh, addictive. What, what's that, is that the dance? Yeah, like, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, was that the dance? Was that the dance? Yeah, yeah, man, that was the dance. That was my Why you stop doing that dance? Shit. Why you stop right doing there, that dance? That dance is hard. Oh, was I actually did the dance. You gotta bring that dance God, back. Cause that was my I was on the run. Like, I got I got stories. All right, we gonna hit stories. Let's hit the stories. I got, we got the, I ran in the Shook stories. We got those. Right, right, okay. right. We got the Ja Rule stories. Okay. Right, right. We okay. got those. Uh-huh. It's just like, what y'all want me to get into? What y'all want to talk about? <laughs> Which nah, one do you want? You want to talk we about your success. Same, similar story. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, we ran what y'all, y'all want to talk about? Now, now, we gonna come right back to G-Unit, but Taz right. and Corrupt, y'all was on. Like this is yo, my man. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna need y'all to be a part of this conversation because we can hear it. I got the headphones. I can hear it in my headphones. So everybody, let's let's, <laughs> let's all participate over here, please. Please don't. Let's, let's, this is the most legendary podcast ever. Please let's make this the best. Now, Daz and Corrupt, yeah. Yeah. y'all was on the most controversial label ever, yes. Death Row. Mm. How was that every day in Death Row? Somebody was getting their ass whooped. That, it was really beatdowns happening like that? <laughs> yeah, that Let's crazy. get into the beatdowns, Daz. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to hear this. You know, Mary J. Blige was on Death Row, right? No, oh, I did shit. not know this. So she was managed by Suge uh, Knight. Uh, mm. Sharon Jodice. You know what I'm saying? They was there with us every day, you know what I'm mm. saying? So some motherfucker <laughs> came in and said, hi, Mary. They right. whooped the shit out of <laughs> Wait, just for saying hi to Mary? Oh, Let's make some noise for them niggas whipping ass. Something every day, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, Boy, I'll tell you this much. You come in there, cuz you better be ready. Like get, get down. And then and then for y'all, because y'all crips. We family. Right. You know, everybody in their family, but if you was like coming in outside, boy, mm. you was in trouble. Mm. So, now, see, they, but see, they loved us because now, was y'all we, we was younger than them, right? Okay. But we, all of us was Crips. Uh-huh. They loved our heart, though. I'm going to mm. be honest, guys. Sure. They was like, these little niggas is hard, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mama. Hey, right. blood, these niggas is hard right here. I right. like these little niggas right, right. here. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, was it ever gang tension in there? Or when y'all came there, the only money was green? Always. I mean, the only color was green. It was always gang tension. It was always gang, right? From different neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Niggas getting the pen together. Because you're from Long Beach, right? I'm from Long Beach. You're from L.A. They're from Compton. And you're from Crenshaw. I'm 60s. 60s. Oh, that's the hardest. Let's make some noise for the hardest gang in L.A. And the richest. I heard it is the richest, too. Them niggas got mad money. I mean, I mean, Continue. Continue. So how how did y'all conduct business like? I mean, it was always business because, you know, we the masterminds behind this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we say go, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest, man. You know, in the beginning, it was it was real cool, man. Shug. Right. He, he really uh, He pushed for us yeah, right. pushed You know what I'm saying right. Most of you was like our father You know what I'm saying yeah. Shit right. like that yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying We was yeah. young kids Every he time I went to jail He got me the fuck out I know that motherfucker Wow man. Let's make some noise For sure yeah, Getting niggas out of jail <laughs> 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 Now yeah yo Now yeah yo oh, I, got, I got a sugar encounter let's, let's get to the sugar story Let's go What happened, what happened? I got a sugar encounter <laughs> It's like my very first time <laughs> In L.A. Okay. Uh, you know, okay. I wasn't familiar. You know, I'm a New York nigga. It's uh-huh. my first time, you know, coming to LA. And um, we was doing it in the club uh-huh. video shoot. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. So, Shug pull up, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, we got close that door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? right? So, we doing it in the club. We doing uh-huh. it in the club. Yeah. Um, y'all gotta close that door. You gotta close that door. Serious, what's up? How are you? All right. Y'all gotta close that door, please. All right. And be quiet when you come in here. So look, right, we right. doing the and this um, is not don't do not ask on the floor. So All right, continue. We doing the in the club um video shoot and you know Dre is there, mm-hmm. M is there. <laughs> so Shug just come out of nowhere like Houdini type shit. Like he's, a, he's an intimidating cat, you know what I mean? So he had the uh at the time I think it was the One Eighteenth Street crew, like. Mm. This is the first time That's the I Mexicans? See, yeah, this is the first time okay. I've seen oh, a nigga Oh, yeah, the 18th Street Look, this is the first time I ever 18th. seen a nigga from L.A. <laughs> with a tattoo on his forehead mm. Tattoo on his eyes 18th Street, killer <laughs> This, this, that, that He had all these niggas And everybody came outside 50 M <laughs> And it was just I thought it was gonna go down But Excuse me, y'all You gotta be quiet back there I yeah. thought it was gonna go down, but I guess it, it just didn't go down. You know what I'm saying? But right. mm. I got stories, man. Like mm. we want to talk about I, we want to hey, talk about the crazy. Um, that's crazy. the Jaru shit. Like Jaru is lucky to be alive. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna, and I'm gonna keep it real for you. Oh my god, Jaru, we, we trying to change the subject. But his yeah. brother, <laughs> all them niggas is lucky to be alive because we was in the hit factory. I got stabbed. I got stabbed right here in my pinky, right here. And I got stabbed right here in my hand. Mm. Mm. So we was in the studio, Hit Factory. Now I'm new to the game. I, you mm. know what I'm saying? You're like I know this is this when the rap game was crazy. You had mm. niggas like Jack running around Scooter. You know, crazy <laughs> LA niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, niggas ran up in the Hit Factory. But the only thing that saved Ja Rule life mm. is that the 45 that me and 50 had with no safety mm. was in the other room. Because if me and him would have had that, it would have went down in the hit factory. It would have been like a Troy Ave situation, my nigga. It would have been crazy. <laughs> Troy Ave, hold your hand, baby. Hold your hand, Troy Ave. But, right. It got awkward It would have got Go crazy, ahead. but, you know, niggas ran up in there, we getting it on. That door got closed. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ran up there, we getting it on. It ain't nothing. Ain't nobody right. press no charges. Like, now, this, now, let this, me ask you so something. Hold on. Okay. This is what I want to clear. You got to finish. Right, for right. the point, ain't nobody <laughs> press no charges. Oh, okay. No real niggas press no charges. Mm-hmm. 50 ain't press no charges. Mm-hmm. Tony Ayo ain't press no charges. Mm-hmm. You had Clark Kent DJ in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Deep. His name is DJ Giz. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He pressed charges, got his lawsuit, got his money, did whatever he did. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever pressed no charges against Murder Inc. Niggas mm-hmm. is real niggas. Niggas is really in the streets. Right. Like I said, if that gun would have been in that room, mm-hmm. it would have been Tony Ayo locked up, 50, or 50 Cent locked up, and Ja Rule and Murder mm-hmm. Inc. dead. Mm. Now, you know now, Fat Joe had beef with, with, with 50 and they right. squashed it. How'd you feel about that? I felt good because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you from Chris Lee. Right. That's like, right. You know what That's I'm right. saying? Let's like, make some noise for that. Let's make some noise for that. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Yes, I just sir. feel like with rap, it's a competition thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was never, you know what I'm saying? I, I rocked with Fat Joe since right. Jealous Once Envy. Now, you're a loyal nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? You're a loyal because nigga, I, yeah. I'm a fan of hip hop. Right. I ain't a nigga that just right. jumped on a bandwagon, right. listened to y'all shit. Right. Hey, you know, New York, hey, right. hey right. brand right. of hip hop, every genre of hip hop. Right. So it's like with the Fat Joe situation, I'm kind of glad it got squashed. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful thing. You don't want to worry about a million Puerto yeah, Rican niggas yeah. from the Bronx. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. That's right. You know that's what I'm right. Saying? That's right. That's right. That's I heard right. the Pistol Pete nigga was real. Like, I'm going to give it up. Yeah, I heard yeah, the Pistol Pete yeah. nigga, like a couple of niggas right. up north with him. Right. Right. And heard up, because I'm in the streets. So mm-hmm. I'm in tune to the streets. So I heard right. And you was getting on. locked up a lot, too. Yeah, right. Let's so, make some noise. You getting locked yeah, up a lot. Still here. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, time out. Back. Let me stop these people. Listen, well, all you motherfuckers here, and only four people clapping, I'm gonna keep it real. Come if on. you don't wanna clap, you can exit. Yeah, exit. Right right right. Right. Yeah, this is a right. classic episode. It's the number one Continue. podcast. Continue. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'm, I'm, I just feel like I've been a fan of Fat Joe since Jealous One's Envy. That's what's up, man. It's you good for hip hop. So this it's is like, all good for hip hop. But you know, hip hop is always competition. Uh-huh. You know how New York City uh-huh. is, and you know, I'm glad that shit is squashed. Rest in peace to Chris Lighty. Why? You know what I'm saying? And you know, that was the pioneer of this shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Doing yeah. this shit since the tunnel. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, hey, the tunnel was like Rikers Island. Island. The tunnel, tunnel, tunnel was like Rikers Island. Island. It was like Rikers Island. Island. No chain, Play-o. no yeah. shoes. You they take your shoes off when right. you walk through so the door. So it's like, <laughs> for a nigga Chris Lighty, I seen, you know, deal with y'all. Yeah. Foxy, uh, 50. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just thought it was good for hip hop, man. Shout out to Fat Let's make Let's make some noise for Yeah, Yo No One. Now, I've been saving this question the whole time. You guys was a part of that Chronic album. Mm. This, 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 this is hands down one of my top favorite albums of all Hip-hop time. History. And you guys was a part of that Chronic album. It's a two-part question. One, how did it feel about being a part of uh, that album? And two, when y'all was making it, I heard stories of y'all saying y'all was all, like, didn't have a lot of money. But did y'all know y'all was making a classic? So you can answer it in which of e- the two parts you want. Hell no. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't know when I made the word for a classic. But go ahead, continue. Yeah, you know, Thank you. Never you. Know These you niggas make always it. say yeah. yeah but go ahead. You never yeah. know you're making history because you're making it. It's like, man, right. we were starving, man. We mm-hmm. That's how we made the dog pound. Mm-hmm. Snoop had the apartment in mm-hmm. Franklin. Mm-hmm. We was just one in bedroom. there. Dang. One bedroom. Twelve we stole niggas. for breakfast. Mm-hmm. We went to the store. <laughs> Dad's <laughs> still loaf of bread. No style. Still some eggs. All that type of shit, bacon and shit. and hit the door. Motherfucker, right. like, go, pew! <laughs> and come back and we cook that shit up, cuz. And then we go to the studio. Then dad learned how to break into the studio, cuz. That's how we started to. <laughs> what word? Uh, at late at night. Good. Hot wire elevator. What? Hot wire Hold on, tell me, I've never heard this before that's in my some, life. You got hot wire elevator? Yeah, that's that's some some shit. Shit. that was right Solar there. Records. Wow, Solar. Dick Griffin. Yeah. Mm, I you remember know, the that. Whispers, the, yeah. the Lake yeah. Show, and all that shit. Mm. I would sneak up to the studio, grab one of the reels mm. that he had in the back, and tape over that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then he coming in like, man, this motherfucker. Tape that's, over how the dad, that's how me and Dad. That's how me and Dad could work because whispers. you know everything was was Dog and Dr. Dre. So right. we sneaking that motherfucker late at night. But no, we didn't know we was making history. I mean, this is a dollar question. Right. Is the movie coming out? Mm. Damn, yeah, I heard about I'm the waiting movie. Waiting on the movie, man. Mm. Damn, skip. You know, <laughs> Tupac movie right. coming out. You know, my Straight. son. Oh yeah, in that sh- sh- get out of here. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Your son, your son is in that movie? Yeah, he's playing me in the movie. Oh, oh that's shit, all. Yeah, that's yeah, all. That's that's all. all. So when I Shout do the dog pound movie, uh-huh. he gonna play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's we all. waiting on that one. And he that's gotta all. Be with daddy, and that's our movie. Yeah. 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 But wait, Nori. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm supposed to be playing Nate Dog, man. We talked about this nah, shit. Nah, nah, <laughs> man. I can't be Nate Dog. I don't look like Nate Dog. Nah, nah, nah. You don't look like Nate Dog. You can't sing, nigga. Because Nate Dog sees the bones of You look like the old lady for what's happening. Chill out, Jack. Go ahead, back up. And back up. We heard Drew Hill around somewhere, too. Let's pick them up. Let's pick them up. Cisco with the dog song. How many bitches you fuck, Cisco, with the dog song? Listen, this is amazing. How many bitches you fuck, man? Cisco, what's going on, my brother? Listen, man. Listen, man. Go over there. You going to shit? You going to go in between the two gangsterous niggas and the West Coast? Go over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know I done fucked so many bitches with goddamn Cisco and Drew Hill. We got Tayo right here. Oh, we got Tayo too. What's up, baby? What's going on, man? I give a 
Dogs, man. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. See, because back in the days when we was doing music, everybody just knew our voice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, dad's talking. Dad's talking. Go ahead, dad. So, so, you know, like when we did the chronic and shit like that, you know, it was some innovative, but when we was doing that, everybody just knew our voices. Mm. They didn't know our face. Mm. So a motherfucker be bumping the chronic right in front of us. And... They don't know that Daz did production on Daz was the one DJ on Rat right a Tat Tat when they go. That was Daz. That shit crazy. Rat a Tat Tat. I didn't know he did ambition to a Rat No, I knew that. I knew that. But now, Daz, I seen you on Fly TV. Yeah. You spoke about Miss LA. And you, you pointed out the fact that Miss LA had a baby I mean, by Dr. Dre. call that in the hood? Hold on, hold on. You, you said you pointed out that Miss LA had a baby by Dr. Dre, and a had baby a baby by, by Suge, and was rubbing on Tupac, Tupac in the studio. What do you call that what, a girl Shit. like that? I don't know. What do y'all call it in LA? Because I want to use y'all word. A <laughs> what? A what? A Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God! Okay, Cisco, 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 Nokia, oh. Nokia, you gave us beats, baby. Let's make some noise for Nokia. Goddamn! Nokia. 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 Cisco, I want you to keep it real with us. What's up? What's up? <laughs> we seen you. Have, you had a fight the other day, right? Or um, jagged edge? That Is this true? That wasn't, a, that wasn't a fight. Ain't nobody throw no hands. Oh, this, 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 this <laughs> Okay. How, how much? <laughs> how much <laughs> skirmish? Okay, <laughs> let me just ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. How much pussy did you get off the thong song? <laughs> a lot of pussy. I don't know if you could quantify it in actual numbers. Well, <laughs> when you say quantify, you know. and you ain't have a DM back then. How much juice? Exactly. So they weren't sliding in your DMs. They were sliding in your face. <laughs> so, oh, uh, uh, what happened? Absolutely. What happened? Um, Man, they, they they still playing that that joint today. Yeah, yo, know, is your publishing checks crazy? They nice. Yeah. No, yo, did you hear me? Did you hear me? I'm a little bit on that. 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 I'm a Existence as like a, these as people. a solo artist, but Ooh. we was already multi platinum yeah. before mm. I even did and is that. Is that when you got the you was, on that, you was on the album. I was on the album. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I, I came and performed, and I came out late. You yeah. remember that day? I came uh, out too late. Y'all niggas was killing it so crazy. I was just stupid there and watched it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So is that when you we dyed the platinum hair? The, the, the black yeah, yeah, for the no, thong well, song. Well, uh, yeah, that was the that was the platinum. Because y'all niggas from Baltimore. Niggas don't know y'all niggas is hood as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Niggas from Baltimore. Niggas from the wire. The niggas thought the niggas were no, 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 I, grew up, I grew up right in the middle of all this uh, shit. Oh, no, why? Yeah, niggas selling crack and all that. Drew Hill no. is a crack <laughs> selling place. No, 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 no. I know. No, I went no, to Drew Hill trying to sell crack. This shit was so crazy you. that when we used to rehearse in my house, we would get off the bus, come from school, and I'd be like, yo, y'all niggas gotta shut the fuck up, because they gonna fuck y'all up. Y'all see when y'all get in the house. Listen, at one point, New York niggas used to go to Baltimore and try to get money. Yeah, and Drew summer, Hill was the park, where it was man, a lot of crackheads in that park. Man, at one man. point, I don't know if y'all cleaned up now. No, no, but, it's, I mean, you know. So when y'all called yourself every Drew time Hill, you see that I automatically red. knew these niggas is hood niggas, and the people who never heard of Drew Hill, they don't know that. Right? Every, t- every time you see that red, that red house on the corner, Mm. That was uh, on the wire. That was right next to my grandmother's house. So we get residual checks every time they, they show that. They were serving episode. drugs. And, yeah. then ex- <laughs> and, then, and then exactly what happened with Jagged Edge? What, what happened? Let's get to the point. Let's just Dude, put this moment to the drinking rest. Okay. <laughs> That's how no, we was drinking. And, and These y'all, niggas is gangsters, man. I'm telling you. Man. I don't know. And then we just and got stuck. And Jagged Edge some rough niggas, too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But y'all boys. We, we y'all cool today. Y'all boys. Now, 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 now. Yeah, yo, let's get to you, man. So, you got a mic? Hey, you got a mic? I'm trying to hear about this jacket. You want to hear this jacket? 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 Who won the fight? Who won the fight? Who won the fight? Who won the fight? Give him the mic. Give him the mic. Hey, who made me pull the video? I walked away unscathed. All right. Ooh, so, so I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, somebody else got hurt. Because me and Gabon had a fight. I don't know. I want for sure. I want for sure. When me and Gabon had a fight. Now, 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 yeah, yo. Now, yeah, yo. We talked about Drew Hill's fight. How many people we y'all beat up in G units? Like at the offices. I heard about y'all. 
We yeah, got South Side in Manhattan. We, along. Do, got, we do got a list. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got a list. Being, being down with 50 is not like being down with like uh, like Leo Combs. <laughs> no. Kanye is, or Jay yeah, it's not one of them niggas. No, 50 like, wants beef. 50, yeah, he goes he's, at he's it. a street yeah, nigga. Yeah. Like I, I can't front. I can't take mm-hmm. nothing away from 50. Uh-huh. He put niggas in position. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like I, I said, being up. in the studio with Dr. Dre. Guys like these guys, mm-hmm. legends, Snoop, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was always a dream to me. Like, I reached my dream in hip-hop already. Mm-hmm. You know like, what I call it? Mm. Like, I be telling people, man, I reached the pinnacle of rap. That's what mm. I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm I telling you. I did a song God. everybody. Mm. Yeah. Once you in the studio See, I, with you, niggas you, like this and like M and Dre. And you, you rapped on a Dre beat before? Yes. Like, I never rhymed on I've been in the studio for the whole Get Rich or Die Trying. My life sucks hey, right yeah. now. I did. Oh, 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 I get too hot. Yeah, I need smoking corrupt moon rocks. Okay. It, was, it was crazy for me because I don't know if they witnessed this in the studio, but Dre used to make 50 say a line like 50 times. I heard 50 that. times. Corrupted right. about three So he'd be like, times. say it like right. this. And, and I, it was just going. amazing. Put some to emphasis me. on it. Right. Right. That, you'll lay the whole rap, right? Right. Uh, you'll be like, yeah, Dr. Dre be like, yeah, that's banging mm. right there. Mm. So, but I want you to say what, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, what? <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm gonna just there. redo that line, Dr. Dre. I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna redo right. that line, Dr. Dre. No, just do the whole verse over. Right. Huh? <laughs> nah, yeah. nah. And then look, over over and and being over in the studio and over, with and M, over again. I remember when when Fifty was doing Many Men and mm, Eminem. Classic record. He did the footsteps, mm. and he knew what movie the footsteps came from, and that was just amazing for me. Like. He mm. knew like the footsteps like this guy over here. Just too. it was, was just there. amazing shit to Movie me to guy. be in the studio with these guys. Mm. Like, so like I, I I hit my point. Madison Square Garden, mm. Paris, Dubai, mm. uh, Africa. Yeah. I've been everywhere in the world. Mm. I, I've been around all the legends. Like mm. I don't know, man. I just feel I'm gonna like, be honest, cause yeah. you know, I feel like I, y'all legends. Man. I'm gonna be, 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 be honest, cause in every crew, there's that one nigga. That everybody roll with that's just that hood nigga. Mm-hmm. You just roll with him, you love him to death. Mm-hmm. Wu Tang, you got Ray Kwan, and you got mm-hmm. Ghost. That's right. Mm-hmm. And ODB. Mm-hmm. The G Unit, you had Tony, guys. Yeah, yeah. Tony you, was that. Let's make some noise for Tony holding it down. Yeah. Yeah. Son, we was doing this all day. Yeah, I ain't gonna find that dance back here, yo. You gonna find that dance? I ain't gonna find that dance. John Cena, bitches, shit. You know, you know, you know, you know John Cena the wrestler. He does this. Yeah, I need like, some. My son does it. I'm like, you doing a Tony Ayo dance? But he ain't gonna tell you, John Cena. He owe you publishing. He owe you publishing. I need some money, John Cena. He owe you publishing. Yeah, yeah. You get that cheese. But if now, give a fuck about him. Now, Drew Hill. Always Drew Hill. Did Kevin Lyle sign y'all? Did Kevin Lyle sign y'all? Cause he from Baltimore. No, uh, Kevin, Kevin, uh, Kevin, Kevin was came, an intern. <laughs> Kevin came later on, and uh, like Kevin, like when they um when everything started going corporate and like island black music disappeared, you mm-hmm. know they came and scooped this up, mm-hmm. like right after we did the uh, Rush Hour soundtrack. Mm-hmm. So that was like later I was on the Rush Hour soundtrack too, I think. Uh, yeah, that first one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Def Jam was cutting checks back then. Yeah, Let's make some no, noise for Def Jam. When we did the Rush Hour soundtrack, uh, we did the Rush Hour soundtrack at the time. We had gotten paid more right. than any other no, yeah, artist no, no, no. that mm. had ever been on a uh, soundtrack before. Damn. Now they floors the hard car to shoot the video. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Now listen, Check. I gotta ask My everybody God. this question. This is gonna, I'm a, we're gonna start with you, yeah, yo, and we're gonna go all around. Mm-hmm. All of us has been independent. All of us has been major. Right. What do you prefer? I mean, I feel like when you on a major, like when we had Interscope, we had the red carpet, we had mm. um, MTV, mm. you had a lot of people working for you. Mm. And I feel like when you go independent, it's just like a lot of more legwork and mm. a lot more to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all so what know do you what, like more? Um, It's crazy. I like independent money, but I like the major promotion. Agreed. <laughs> Dad, I mean, I like independent, man. You like independent? It's like the dope game to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I go take um, twenty five hundred dollars, press me up five thousand CDs, mm. make me fifty thousand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the order's coming in thirty, forty thousand. Mm. I go press that up. Ninety <sighs> days later, I want the money, man. Fuck the fame. Yeah. I'm riding Bentley. You know, it's, it's everything, man. This is a great experience. Plus, I own it all. Mm. Mm. 
yeah, you know, yeah, all yeah. 3,000 records, you dig, albums mm. that I got, you know what mm. I'm saying? And you producing it, too. So that's, that's but then you, you got to look and at you this. And you your own shit. You got to look at this. You get the check for the CD, you get the check for the digital. Right. Now, this is the other part of the game. That door got to close. Register the song. Mm. Now you're getting writers and publishing. Mm. That's four checks. Mm. Look how smart Daz is. Like, man. Now smart. he's mad he's smart. He's on point. He's four on check. Now the fifth check. Yeah. Sing. Sound exchange. Mm. Uh, I need to hang with you, man. I you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna ask you oh, help. Don't forget the license. Now, the now, license. now, yeah. now, now I'm gonna ask y'all as a collective force. What do you like better? <laughs> I mean, like honestly, me, like I like I got a different opinion about it because, you know, I went inside for like eight years and like there and um like worked in the monster for real. So it's like mm -hmm. As an artist, once you get to see that side of it, it kind of like taints you, mm -hmm. for real. Cause you like sitting there like, yo, y'all been telling me this bullshit the whole time, and I, this what this shit really means for real. <laughs> so right. you know, I mean, it's a grind, but you know, like it was saying, like to know you owned it all, and especially like for us because we performing every week, so it's mm -hmm. like we out there in front of the people. So it's like you know, you want that promotion, and you kind of you know you miss it at first, but it's like man, we've been doing it for twenty years, so it's like how fucked up is it? That's true. For real. Now you you got a different answer. You look like you want to say something nah, different. Nah, 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 keep it real. Nah, 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 Your face was different. Come on, talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. I'm new. You know what I'm saying? For real. So like. When I got in, it was it was Talk already, to the mic, though, my brother. It was already an independent thing, you okay. know what I mean? So I really don't know about right. the majors, but you know okay. what I'm saying? Um, I'm the new guy in Drew Hill now, you okay. know what I mean? Like he said... Oh, so it's just three of y'all now? No, no Jazz so. is around here okay. somewhere. I don't know okay. where he's Okay, okay yeah, now, I mean, Corrupt. You done? Uh, corrupt. What do you like more? Oh, I'm, I'm fucking with the majors, man. Yeah, Fuck the bullshit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Game over. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? The majors make you that brand. Mm. That brand is the money. Fuck mm. the album. And fuck the bullshit. The brand mm. is the money. Because even after the majors, my nigga, I, st I eat forever off that brand. I you understand me? So my key is this here. Because Steven Tyler told Dog and all of us, you know, that's the problem with you rap guys. You fucking don't understand. This is fucking rock and roll, Jack. Mm. You understand me? We get paid a million point five a show. Mm. So while the majors is making their money off our album, we triple that. Mm. In one year What they right. made Off that album right. Now they do These 360s mm. But we gotta deal With no 360 All our show money Is ours All our merchandise Is ours mm. Everything we do Is ours mm. Away from the album So yeah When they get that money From the album Preach, They gotta break Preach. it They gotta break it down like In so many <laughs> pieces yeah. You think they all Getting rich Hold like up. that But mm. they break it down In so many pieces Between what that company Is about right. mm. And you get your little piece mm. But at the end of the day you touring uh, uh, Who was it It was Mick Jagger uh -huh. He said man The record labels Be begging us To make an album Nigga mm. We don't make an album <laughs> For five years Nigga Fuck an album mm. Nigga We touring Eight months Out the year nigga. Right. Mm. Well, See I got, I got Eight it. months At a million point five A gig Two mm. million a gig My nigga wow. And we touring Over eight to ten months and Out the year And they don't got No year. beef with nobody No beef with no nobody beef rock and roll. There's no, no rock and roll No rock and roll beef And then And then And then And then, and then that's not mentioning Their, their, their uh, The merch the, You know The merchandise That's not mentioning The, the people that's paying them to do these commercials and that VIP and all oh, that shit. Me, 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 me. That's money. Now, Add Capone, up a million on. point five Sorry. in one week. Okay. Now, Wait, Capone, what, what, what's yours? Because a little bit different. Okay, go ahead. Because what? Because I, I, um, I recorded my album myself. Mm. And sold it Good back job. The mm. Death Jam So a lot of people Don't know that Thong song All that That was under my label oh, mm. so that was, Good job So you know That was a lot Of the controversy 11 on million how, That all went to you Let's make some noise well, For no, you no. <laughs> Not all of it <laughs> a lot of money But, um, but yeah I mean Cause you know with, 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 the, with the guys We learned We came right out of high school Into mm. the industry So we learned a lot Of hard lessons Right And um, you know Bam uh, I came to Def Jam Basically with my Whole project With the uh, exception Of maybe one One or two songs mm. <laughs> Good now, job Now Capone man. We gonna, Good we gonna ask you job, what, 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 what do you like more Independent or major I mean, I came up in the 90s, so, you know, mm, you got to realize that in, that in that era of music, the label was the machine. Right. Mm. Machine. 
you, when you dealing with a machine, you dealing with somebody that you know that's going to back you, that's going to mm. spend three. A lot of people ain't never seen a million dollar budget video. You know right. what I'm saying? Let's mm. keep it real. Dads, mm. you seen it. Yeah. Corrupt, you it seen it. It don't really it. cost a million, but they charge your ass a million. No, no. High wins charge you a million. High wins charge you a million. Because he's flying ah. Mr. Chow's in and all that. We know how that goes. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> we know what he's doing. But at the end of the day, <laughs> now you can make... No, no, listen. But now you can make that same million dollar video for twenty thousand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Less than that. 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 All right, now corrupt. You, you have know? one of the most classic Vlad interviews ever. <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> Pass corrupt what the mic. Going on there? You don't remember? You don't remember the Vlad? What was going on there? Yeah, yeah. You just, you just, you just spaced out, corrupt. I'll be, I'm we loved it. God. We loved it. You were like, you were like. You were like, we don't want your blocks, cuz we got to We love that, bro. <laughs> we love that. What happened during that? I was just saying, cuz. You know, I love New York, cuz. Yeah. You know, the bullshit got to stop. Man. Yeah, we got to stop like, that. We love New York, and everybody right. knows it. And New York love y'all. And they was on my little nigga's job, head, man. man. They was right. on my little nigga Kendrick's head, mm -hmm. cuz. And it's just, it's enough is enough. It was a big misunderstanding. Right. And when Vlad <laughs> brought it up, right. you know, that kind of. Pissed yeah. me off, cause right. don't ask me that. You already know what that is. Now nah, we love you so for standing up. So he hit the up. button, and I gave right. him what he wanted. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's make some noise for corrupt. Yeah. Fuck the right. Yo, all these niggas, y'all better stop clapping. Make some noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me. I gotta take I gotta take the time out. We got CNN and Dog Pound here. That's right. I'm, yeah. the, mother I'm the motherfucking DJ here. I gotta ask the question yeah. that everybody wanted to know back in the days. <clears throat> when CNN did the LALA joint, uh oh, uh oh, what what was going on in y'all heads when that happened? Mm. It was all bad. Niggas and doing all other kind of shit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just knew. You know, it was, it was hip hop. Right. No. Did y'all take it personal no, no, or no, not no, really? No, it was all bad. <laughs> it was all bad. <laughs> That's what I want to know. I got a story. Listen, listen, listen. I got a story. I got a story, right? Um, um, LA, uh, New York, New York, that came out. LA, LA, that came out, right? And then you know, you know what I'm trying to figure out who the, which one is the nigga me putting in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> so look, we just so saw that video. So look, so look, uh, we go to LA right. and they're like, yo, you gotta go to the radio station. So I'm like, cool, but they like, um, you gotta come by yourself. So I'm like, huh? you're a brave nigga. I'm in bro. LA, I'm in LA, right? <laughs> but this is this how I know the niggas is real niggas though. <laughs> so I'm in LA, it's you, Snoop, Daz, Karab, all y'all niggas. I walk in the studio, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dodo. Right, right, right. And the niggas was like, what up, nigga? I was like, oh. But I was like, because the radio station told me I had to come up. You in jail, nigga. He looking at me like, I don't remember that. He was in jail. But listen, but that was the craziest shit. That's how I knew they was real niggas. They, they, they weren't tripping on, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. you know what I mean? Like that. And uh, no, I got to ask you, yeah, yo, you know, with all that. And we talking about the West Coast, East Coast. Y'all had man, game on your, on your team. I thought y'all right. was the most powerful when game was a part of y'all uh, 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 crew. Like I, I still feel like that. With I, the game situation, like me, yeah, honestly, Let's get the like, mic. I never really understood it because I came right. home from jail and I just felt blessed. You know mm. what I'm saying? I came home, mm. my I had a condo in Battery Park. Mm. I could see the Statue of Liberty. Damn, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm coming Stop. from Rikers Island to right. that. It's so it's like Fifty, right. you my nigga. Right. Banks, you my nigga. Game, you my nigga. Buck, right. you my nigga. Right. I never, I didn't understand the rap game. You know what right. I'm saying? But I felt like game had henchmen mm -hmm. in mm. his ear at that time. Glaciers, you know I saying? hear you, Glaciers. Please right? be quiet. I feel like he had henchmen in his ear at that time. I felt like it was just bad blood from mm. there. Like, I feel like henchmen was putting shit. Because henchmen was like a guy that y'all ain't really messed right. with. I didn't understand right. it. Henchmen? Uh, Listen, we ain't getting all this that. Is why <laughs> I didn't, this is why I'm going to keep it 100 with you. This is why I didn't understand it. Game was a nigga from L.A. Mm. Henchman was a nigga that supposedly set up pop from New York. Oh, mm. wow. I didn't understand it. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I, I just didn't get it. Mm. You know what I mean? 50 was a nigga in position. Mm. He gave Game some records. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I heard this is how we do all these records before they came out. I'm just a loyal nigga. Mm. Like, I feel like it's a team. Game used to call my phone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I need you on this record. If you notice, Game first album, who's the only nigga from G Unit that's on Game's album? I'm running. Mm. Tony Yayo. Indeed. Right? Mm. So it was never, 
really a problem with, with right. the game. Right. You know what I felt like niggas kind of probably went wrong with the game? His mm. man, God bless the dead, his man, Billboard, got smoked. Yeah. And mm. he wanted niggas to come to the funeral when niggas was busy doing all right. kinds of shit. I don't know if niggas got in his ear. I don't know if it's the henchman shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But. Right. I just never understood. But in your heart, did you ever want to like, you know what I'm saying, like try to put that together? Because at the end of the day, you're a general G unit. Look, I'm just a loyal nigga. You understand what I'm saying? All the politics in the rap game, I never understood. I just Mm. was a nigga that came home. I Mm. used to sell drugs on 134, bum ass, Mm. dirty nigga. God brew up. God brew up. I saw drugs on 107. (laughs) God brew up. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? So me coming home, like oh, I said, you. from Rikers Island mm. to Battery Park, it was big for me. And mm. I always respect 50. 50 done bought Bentleys for me. Right. Banks done came see me. You know what I'm saying? Because um, are the, so uh, the banks, the banks, the right. banks are, 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 um, are drama. Like you, you had right. something to do with help putting that back together, right? Right. I yeah. mean, I feel like. Banks is always gonna be my nigga. Fingers not Banks. I'm saying Banks. I'm in Buck. I'm in Buck. Yeah, Buck. That's, I was, I'm not I mean, Buck. Not know, Banks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, niggas is men. Niggas yeah. gonna always argue. If niggas right. don't argue, then something's wrong, man. Yeah, something, yeah. Your relationship <laughs> is something ain't right. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like niggas gonna argue. Niggas, right. it's the it's it's the game. People's right. watching every move you make. Everybody right. got you know something to say. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, as for them niggas, man, I love everybody, man. Let's I, make some noise and yeah, yo, loving that. Oh. It's all about loyalty, my nigga. It's all about loyalty. Yes, I, came, I came home to a lot. That's why I'm always going to respect Fifth. No matter what we go through, or Banks, or Buck, or anybody, I'm always going to respect Real niggas. niggas I came, that. Right. I came home to a good situation. Like I said, I done been to Paris. I've mm. been to Dubai. Mm. I've been in the studio with Dre. Mm. I've been in the studio with M. Mm. 50. Like, I'm straight. Like I, I, For hip-hop, I'm good. I could mm. be dead and going tomorrow, and they just be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot. I survived a lot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, rest in peace to Chinks. You see a nigga like Chinks that really didn't even have too many beefs right. and, and got taken out. Right. Because yeah, when you a rapper, you a fucking target. Regardless. <laughs> you Regardless. know what I'm saying? Right. You, right. You, 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 you know what I mean? You getting bitches, you getting money, you doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? When you a okay. rapper, you a target. You know what I'm saying? I've been yeah. with 50 since we was on a tour. A lot of people don't know, like, I was on the Nostradamus tour. I remember that. A lot I remember of people that. Don't 50 know open up that. for Nas. Yeah, like, I remember that. Nas was a nigga like Queensbridge, the whole me, y'all niggas like me. Fifty, right? Nature I all was up, in Bearsville. Yeah, Come I on. looked up to this. I remember when Fifty right. was in the Columbia system. Mm. I remember how hard he worked, and I just always respected that and respected what niggas did. Like, like I said, I was on tour with Nas. Mm. Nostradamus tour. That's hard. Jungle, That's hard. Yeah. Horse. That's my nigga. Them niggas ain't know who I was. Ooh. I was a nobody, nigga. I'm gonna keep. He was real. a shooter. Come I'm on. just a nigga. We know who you was. We know who you was. We know who you was. You were Negro, nigga. We knew who you was. Listen, I'm a nigga. We knew. Listen, I'm a nigga that was just chilling. Like, uh, uh, like, I can tell you a story. I can tell you. Let's get to that story. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm on a tour with Nas, right? So you know how you know Fifty had a bitch, whatever. I'm the nigga that's left in the lobby. You know, I'm just, I'm in the right. lobby. <laughs> I got the Movado. Mm. With the one diamond in the top? The Movado, no. Yeah. That yeah. premium and them right. niggas gave mm. 50 mm. for Ja Rule chain. Mm. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, like for real, I, I, that's what I'm saying. 50's a real nigga, like, right. it's a real mm. situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That day in the hit factory, like I said again, them niggas could have got smoked. Right. Because niggas had the 45 ACP with no safety, nigga. Mm. And it was in a room with Tone and Pope. But they mm. producing niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They ain't going to open the door if they mm-hmm. had some drama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if that gun was in this in that room, it would have been a totally different situation. <laughs> okay, hold on, because Jack Drew keep whispering shit. in my ear that <laughs> Drew Hell got to go, right? But he also whispered in my ear that Nokio. Your baby mama's Angie Martinez. How did that happen? Oh, Let's wow. make some noise for that. Let's make some noise for that. Let's make some noise for that. Winner! 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 Winner!
that situation. Right. 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 All I'm gonna say is this. Right. Oh, shit. We have a beautiful son oh. that's getting ready to oh. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh. He'll be a teenager. He'll be a teenager this week. Right. Shout And that's it. God, God bless you. God bless you. Hold up, hey. before, well, hold up, before Drew Hill leave. Boys in New York ain't let you This is DJ EFN. We only we we one mic short tonight. Yes, we are. And Cisco, I just gotta you here, I gotta take the opportunity to say this. I had a classic, I'm a mixtape DJ from Miami. Classic mm-hmm. freestyle was at the Thong Song, I think remix. Met the man Red Man were there? South Beach? Yeah. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. Alright. Red Man gave me the illest freestyle ever on one of my mixtapes. Right there, because I worked for Def Jam at the time. Okay. Mm. And then on the flip side, my ex girlfriend did her debut music video gig at your shit. Oh, End of story. Uh, Alexis, go. Uh, End of Alexis, story. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. You got home. You stop fucking with her. Hey, you know what, man? Yo, go ahead, come up. Go ahead, I, I got to get back to this Angie Martinez machine. Oh, oh, she is oh, super bad, man. She is super bad. I want to give it up one time for him cracking Angie Martinez. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my friend Angie. Angie is my friend. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, my, that's my nigga. Angie's my nigga. Angie plays no this games. This is a Jack Doyle digression. I don't know why I got balls into it, but I got balls yes, into it. Yeah. 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 Angie play, and Angie plays uh-huh. no games. That's why yeah. I can't yeah. understand. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even understand. Right. 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 He cracks. She's Angie, a great person. She's she a great plays person. No games. Yeah. Jack Doyle. It's and Jack Doyle. don't like Jack nobody. Happy birthday, Jack Doyle. Happy birthday. Let's get it, let's get let's get back together. Now, what was hold, hold on, hold on. Now, what was your favorite years of death row? Like, oh, shit. Was, you know what's crazy today? You know what's crazy today? I watched y'all perform, right? And I heard y'all p- perform a record from 94. Yeah, that's what it was, 94. 94, I was in jail. So that means to tell me, come on, y'all, come on, let's call it down. So that means to tell me that in 94, when I was in jail, y'all niggas already had classics. So what's your favorite year at Death Row? When everything was right. Every one of them is up until 96. Yeah. Mm. That's where it ended. I came out of jail, 96. Uh, this is true. Yo, let me get a photo op. Oh, come on, let's do it. In the middle of the podcast. Right up In the middle of the podcast, we all stand up. Come on, come on. let's do it. And we ain't editing this shit. Oh, my knees is bad. My knees is bad. Let's take a picture of Cisco. Yeah, mine's too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Drew Hill, thank y'all for coming through. Participating. For sure. Yeah, I'm going to get it. We ain't editing this shit. Hey, come on, come on. This is a moment right here. This is a moment. You got me? Make sure you get out of here. the Pandora one? Oh, the Pandora one? Just, 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 right. just, I knew that was Jack Roller. Catch the mom. around me. She said the Pandora. I don't believe it. Help me look. Nah, that's good. Let's do the regular one. Who's friend? Yeah. Regular one? Turn it this way. Drain, you got the good camera? Drain, Drain three, got the wide lens. Two. Drain got the wide lens. You ready? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Did you get it? Yeah. We're leaving this in the podcast. We don't edit shit. So now, the most popular So now, Tony Yeo. What's up, man? Yo, yo, my brother. Great seeing you, my brother. Thank y'all for coming through, man. Thank y'all. I really appreciate that. Cisco, Cisco, I really appreciate that. Cisco, thank y'all. You know you want to get Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Lyle's got into it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do, we gonna do another one. We're gonna do another one. So now, okay, we leaving all this. This is this, this, this why we number one. We leave all this dumb shit. Because you know why the fan? I like you. Your, your, your horn duty is your horn duty is good. His horn duty is good. So now, so now, 
Yeah, yeah, yo. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, had Olivia on, um, right. Um, G unit. How, how was it working with Olivia? Real quick, you guys. I'm good. Get her with Olivia was it was cool. We recording, guys. Ah! We recording. Calm down. Get it quiet in here. Yeah, let's get it. I love this. I love we this. Get it we got quiet the guests here. helping out. We got the guests yeah, helping out. You 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 brought up some other shit. Like yeah yeah. Chill out. Yeah, we bringing up Olivia. You All told right. me to bring up Olivia too. Nah, he Olivia did. Was this is Jack Drew. Always cool. <laughs> yeah. But um, mm. they had an option. I don't know. I heard there was an option between Keisha Cole and Olivia. No, I y'all, had, y'all was gonna sign Keisha Cole. I don't know. I y'all was fucked locked up. up. Y'all oh, fucked up. But I like Keisha Cole. <laughs> y'all fucked up. I like Olivia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I heard there was an option to sign <laughs> Keisha Cole. <laughs> wow. She was, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. That fucked me up right there. It's a lot of shit of shit I've seen uh-huh. in hip hop. Like, I mean, like, I remember uh, our first time when we was in Atlanta and all the shit happened with Ja Rule, 50 punched Ja Rule. You, keep, go, you keep going back to this. Nah, story. nah. <laughs> you keep going was back. Oh, man. But look, he <laughs> punched Ja Rule in the eye. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, I don't like this story. No, no, no. I don't want Luda, to be drama. I man. remember Ludacris was the radio nigga. Chris Lover Lover. He was Chris Lover Lover. Chris Lover Lover. And I seen him blow. So you just, mm. like, never know what you're going to see in the game. Man. Mm. You know, I experienced a lot mm. like seeing a lot like I said being on tour with Nas mm. fucking the experiences in the studio cause, cause y'all said your favorite years of Death Row was every year up until 96 so what was your favorite years at G-Unit I would say coming home the free years coming shit. home mm. you know being on Rikers Island now Capone used I'm sorry I want you to get into the story because right, people ahead, be telling me I cut people off no, it's cool. but Capone used I just came coming home for like four years right he was like every time somebody said yo you know, he was like I'm just coming home he was like ah, you gotta do it for Capone well, look, when he came how long home, did you use look, it but when he yeah. came home and y'all had the <laughs> CNN report mm. and you know the jail phone calls mm. that's like the Kwamega with Nas shit mm. you know what I mean like mm. you, you study like who is this nigga like mm. I'm a nigga that study hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I'm mm. not just a nigga, regular rap nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was in the basement, rest in peace with my nigga Fat Shy, mm. and we listened to God records bless. from the Gap Band, the CNN, the Dog Pound, to Ooh. to fucking Michelle. You know what I mean? I'm a bit at Michelle. Now, <laughs> now the Dog Pound. <laughs> DPG, <laughs> I seen the second song when y'all right. performed. Oh the second song that y'all gave love to was Nate Dog. Oh yes. And for me, I looked at the youngins around the crowd, mm-hmm. and I noticed a lot of young people didn't know this song. Right. But for y'all to come out, and that was y'all second song, y'all gave love to Nate Dog. How important is that? Because Nate Dog, if it wasn't for Nate Dog, I, in my Dogg. my opinion. We wouldn't have a future. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't have a T Pain. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't have a. You name them. Ty Dollar Signs. They, 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 Ty Dollar Signs. Uh, nah, Jack Thriller, you ain't in that. You call me. I'm going to ask you to chill out. But, I'm going to ask you to relax. But, the weekend. How was it How was it working Look with, with the original? Because that's the first. Like, he's the first um, rapper or singer. Man, we, you know, we grew up doing robberies and other the types of shit. Wait, wait, Nate was doing robberies, too? He was too. <laughs> Nate was doing like that. What? what? That's what's and up. Nate was in the Hell military. Yeah. What? Man, no. shout out to Nate Dog. Let's make some noise for Nate Dogg. God bless. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. So, yeah, he was a guy. He was a gangster. And he was from Long Beach, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, okay. yeah. so, Nate you know, was hey, a rider. But he had the hooks, though. Well, right. when we was at Death Row, right? Uh huh. We were going to Death Row. Because y'all brought Nate Dogg with no, y'all, no right? No matter, man. They didn't have Nate Dogg. He was with Dogg. Right? Okay. You know what I mean? It was Snoop, Nate, and G Dub, Warren G. Mm. And, uh, you know, you really have to worry about nothing because Daz and Nate, they always had the heaters. We the mm. what? You know, we the enforcers. Yeah, they always had the heaters. Sh- 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 no the singer, nigga. The so yeah, you, you couldn't get body. Sh- back then, <laughs> if you got body by you a singer, nigga, it was for real. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. don't, even, don't, even even think, wow. yeah, don't even think about singing. Wow. <laughs> when we was in Oakland and motherfuckers ain't have me and Daz money, mm. we had Nate with us. So D-Shot picked us up. Mm-hmm. Said, come on, we're going to go. We went to the East Mount Mall, mm. and 
Na- he uh, D shot did, did a show in an abandoned mall. Right, and, and D shot <laughs> did like you, you know, did. I love this story. You know, know right. so and, 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 and D shot, yeah, and D shot did, D shot <laughs> did, with, D shot did with us what you did with me because you know Nori dropped me off that nickel. That's right. That's in New right. York, that's like, right. Yeah. Take care of yourself. That's right. I said, that's okay, right. shit. Nah, that's know. right. But that's what D shot did. He's like, here, man, take this and take this. So Daz and Nate had the heater, and we had to take the promoter in the back, count this shit. And wow. we walked him down the stairs and the lights went off. And the motherfuckers uh, turned the light off. But when, no, when no, the light what it was, no, on, somebody leaned on that motherfucker's uh, light. Down. And we turned it on <laughs> and Nate and Dad was like, uh, nigga! Uh, oh, yeah. So, you know, every time, man, Nate, <laughs> Nate wasn't just the crooner or a singer, man. Nate was G, man. Nate was mm, pulling licks. Sick, man. Nate was. Man, Nate was a beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah race the peace, squad. Nate Dog, man. Word of yeah. Yeah. Peace, Word Nate Dog. Word of Nate Dog. Uh, nah, nah, Jack Thriller, I'm sorry, you do not Jack look like Nate Dogg. 96, Remember that time we was Jack in New York? Was Nate Dogg with movie. you that time when I had the barbecue and I, I moved it to the, I had it in the hood, and then I moved it to the crib. Was Nate what, with you? Over, right. It's RBS and Nate, right? That's right. I believe so, man. That's right, you remember yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, me yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Man, we got so many yeah, stories. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, we For the record, corrupt, man, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's a great day. As I love you, that's a great day. I love you, man. Listen, man, and I love y'all for participating right. in this crazy shit. Because yes, yes. as you can see, we the most unprofessional professional podcast. Because we're unprofessional because it's, it's about um, 55 yeah. motherfuckers in here that wasn't invited. And then it's <laughs> professional because we're not kicking them out. Yeah. We're just telling them just not to talk in the side. Let's make some noise right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what, Nori? I'm going to yeah. tell you like this, guys. Yes, What's really yes, crazy yes, is that it's a lot of people right. who me and Delmar and the homies, me and Daz and all of us, had issues with. I like Delmar. With, that's, right? that's, that's a hard name. I, I was about to say, who's Delmar? Name. I was just you know, that's, that's my name. Oh, I ain't going to call you Delmar from now on, if that's okay with you. Wow. If that's okay with you. Wow. You know what? I want to get to this point. I want to get to this point real quick. Before you go there, though, I want to say this, Nori. Go ahead, please. You know, it's crazy. That through the history of hip hop, because we are mm-hmm. historic, mm-hmm. all of us being together right mm-hmm. now. And the thing is that a lot of the people that me and Delmar had issues with, mm-hmm. and that all of us had is- had issues with us. Right. All the people that had issues with us. A lot of them is my best friends right now. Mm-hmm. For real. Like Life yourself. Changes, word. Oh, like yourself, you know what the crazy you know shit is. Every time. And anybody ever talk about like the LA, New York? I'd be like, Daz Corrupt is the closest niggas I got on the West Coast. Like, oh, my and that's crazy. That's oh, real shit right mama, there. Like, mama, all these years. But I want you to finish your story. They always tell me I cut people off. Sorry. Lazy Bone. Mm, lazy you know bone. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's beef. one of my best friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. beat back Rick in the day. Records of death, bro. Oh, yeah. How can I forget that? Oh, for True. real. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, for real. Right. Why? Because oh, all my mama. Cause, and that's um, one of my best friends to this day. Wow. Man, that's crazy. Easy E and Dre was right, beefing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's crazy. I chopped it with DMX. Me and DMX is yeah, home. No, um, I heard right you now. see DMX the other day in the airport. Yeah, I was drinking. I got the drop on you. Yeah, I smashed everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get in that? Pop up, I want some of that uh, champagne. Yeah, that's oh, that's you know, I got, just, I got you, cuz. Can I be an honorary crip today? Yeah, I'm going to just keep saying cuz. I'm going to dip the whole episode. I'm going to be an honorary crip. I'm going to dip into the trash can. Don't bro. Don't bro. Don't bro. Don't bro. Don't bro. But you know, it's, 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 it's crazy. Prodigy, that's one of my, my good Prodigy. friends. You know what I'm saying? And Havoc. And it's mm. just crazy. But that one they record, though. But go ahead. I'm just saying, though, yeah. it's crazy because, you know, all of these different people who the issues was with are my best friends nowadays. Demo, let me get some that's of right. that good old fashioned shine. That's that moonshine. Right. Give me some of that moon, that hooch. <laughs> yeah, man, they good friends of mine it's right now to this day, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's right. what's cracking, man. Best friends, actually. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Nori, I always you. don't feel like you. hip-hop always been competition since Wait, hold on. Like, always. Did you really take always, a bottle Tony. That's, 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 that's what hip-hop is. That's what hip-hop is, Let's make some noise for Drew. Drew held. No, we had three bottles. It's only two now. They dug you out. They dug Oh, I'm about to say, Drew held the third out a bunch of gangsters. I feel like, I feel like hip-hop always been competition always. since KRS-1. Busy B. And before that, Shin. before that, totally. you know what I mean? Always. So it's like, all right. Before that, way before that. You know, you don't never want to see somebody get killed in hip-hop. You right. know what I'm saying? You never right. want to see people get shot or go to violence. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But 
But y'all shot niggas in front of Hot 97. Ooh, it's true, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is true, right? Who shot somebody? Right. After right. us. <laughs> After <laughs> us. Yeah, I think we did the first shoot out in front of Hot 97. Y'all was here. It was a blizzard. It was a blizzard. Y'all snitched on each other. Y'all snitched on each other. No, it was a blizzard. First shoot out in 97 was up. I just know it was a blizzard. Let's make some noise of Gabon being doped up. Gabon being doped up. Look, look, that's Lee. That's Lee. That's Lee. That's Lee. That's when you mix white with brown. I told you that. Did I not tell that nigga earlier, Daz? Dad, did I not tell that nigga earlier? I, said, I told him, I said, that's my brother. I said, stop drinking white with brown. This is what You never want to see an artist get hit like rest in peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, you never want to see an artist get killed like rest in peace of Chinks, rest in peace of Stacks. I'm a fan right. of, you know. Chill, chill, chill. The Houston, the Houston look, talk. Look, rest in my peace. My man. Look, rest in peace to Freaky Todd. Freaky Todd. A lot Big of L. niggas, Big L. L. A lot of niggas that died from gun violence. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like I said, right. and being a rapper is a target. You know what I'm mm. saying? But at the end of the day, like, the hip hop I came on, came up to, was like, when Tupac did come out with the Machiavelli shit, mm. and then Biggie came with Who Shot You on the radio, mm. it was just like, man, mm. like, what the fuck? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Even when, like, when 50, like, I look at 50 career, like, Jay Z dissed him. Okay. I'm about a dollar. What the mm. fuck is 50 Cent? Mm. And 50 was a crazy nigga, like, <laughs> love this shit. Yeah. All right. That's, yeah. hard. That's hard. And we need this inside this story, yo. Keep going. No, it's, <laughs> mm. it's hip hop. You right. know what I'm it was hip hop, because, you know, right. he did corrupt. Right. right. Yeah. 50 came back with this corrupt. 50 did corrupt. 50 did corrupt. Yeah, yeah. Never, never. T- yeah, come on, let's talk about it. We don't remember this. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Well, how to roll? Yeah, first Well, how to roll? Niggas was hungry. You gotta understand. Oh, how to roll? You can ask Young Buck. You can ask Juke. Listen, listen, listen to corrupt say You can ask Young Buck. What's that line you said, corrupt? What's the line you said? Well, how to roll? No, corrupt came back and did fifty on the song. See the thing is, listen, when fifty had how to roll. Wait, wait, wait. But the thing is, see. Uh-huh. The West Coast in the West, it's just different than New York. Right. Yes. We take shit to heart. Right. right. Yeah. You no, know, you. It's not a hip hop beef. Right. Right. It's real. Right. Dang, when a nigga so you don't think y'all take shit to heart either? We mm, take shit to heart. I, I, I mean, <laughs> but you we know, take shit to heart too, bro. I, I know you do, but I'm just we saying, it's like, like, it's like you said, it's, it's a competition in New York in certain things. Yeah. Like, he right. He right. Seen, he right. I seen. Uh, Motherfucking J- Jigger and Nas in the yeah. same club. Right. They just smashed each other and right, shit. Yeah, they was in right. the club kicking it like mm-hmm. they just came from a baby shower or some shit. You right, know what right. I'm saying? But they do you think it's because of gang other, culture? You think, you think that is because of gang culture? Like, no, nah, it's just okay. it's just the house. You know what I'm right, saying? This right. is just the, it's just it's for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. uh, you know when you uh, go when you it's just not a hip hop battle. Right. When we say fuck you, it's for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? When nigga talking shit about you, it's serious because right. it's like it's going to end in a squabble. Right. Bottom line, it's right. not going to end in just rapping. It's like, right. cuz, I, I don't like you. Right. right. I really do not like <laughs> you, my nigga. Right. right. This is not rap. Mm-hmm. When I'm talking about fuck you, it's very for real. Mm. <laughs> Like, cuz I want to beat you up. Are we so glad rap yeah, is not like yeah, that no more? Yeah, we, yeah, we I'm so glad, glad that shit's it's over. Yeah. Like, nah. I keep telling my youngsters and everybody, you know, I tell my youngsters, I tell, hey, look, I tell, like, look, he, he's talking about the competitive spirit, though. I tell, look, I tell my youngsters. It's never the artist. It's never the artist. I tell my tell my youngsters and I tell all my pupils. Right. The 90s is dead. Right. Okay. Facts. Right. The this, '90s yeah. is dead, but it's, it's never dead. the artist. It's the entourage. Mm. It's the streets. It's the entourage. It's the entourage. That's why Corrupt is right. It's the entourage. It's the entourage. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's, it's not really the artist. Well, you know it depends on what artist it but is. But the artist you know? is surrounded by sometimes. Wait, wait, no, no. It depends on who it is. Everybody's in the streets. Everybody's in the streets. Everybody's individual. Of course. The artist wants to be tied to the streets. We all from the streets. The artist right. wants to be tied into the streets, and you the streets is tied into the artist. Rap shit, and this street shit. Like you talking to a nigga that <laughs> had beef for Jimmy Hendrix. Right, right. Mom's crib got shot right. twenty two times. Niggas right. had silences. Damn. They ain't shooting my Bentleys. My like God. I've been through some real shit right. in the streets. 
in in the rap shit. Mm-hmm. Seen it turn real. Right. So you gotta understand at the end of the day, it's a thin line between love and hate, brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, hey, hey, but I, when I, you I, a I, rapper, you're a fucking target. Yeah, it's true. You're a fucking target. Every day you wake up in the morning, you're a target. <laughs> You can go to your hood. What happened? What's going on? Gone died on the podcast. My nigga had the Capone's a target to himself right now. Gone died. He was a target. My nigga died on the podcast. That's that. That's that. That's that Kush. That L.A. weed. That L.A. shit got him. I'm telling you, my nigga. I had too much in and out burger. You got the worst. Damn, that shit sound like a dead ostrich. Yeah, you about to say something? Wait, but. Yo, 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 the mic, the mic. I don't hear shit. Mics is dead. What happened? Podcast dead. Yo, what the fuck? Niggas hit a wire. Podcast down, podcast down. This is. And the right amount of time. You good, Mike? Mike is not a drunk nigga. Mike is not a drunk nigga. I'm disappointed. We still on? Are we still recording? Yeah, we loud. My man got it. Yo, but but just to play real quick, Devil's Advocate, right? Right. Devil's Advocate. No, go ahead. Devil's Advocate. Mike is all fucked up. I want to hear what you got to say. You hear me though? I want to hear what you got to say on Devil's Advocate shit. Okay, Devil's Advocate. When does the cycle end? What, do you, what do you mean when it's yeah, like when? the cycle? Like when when does the artistry again? I'm playing devil's advocate. Look, because mi- mind you, you saying rappers. Look, I'm a DJ. I'm in the streets too. When you a street nigga, I got the same street shit. I still deal with the same shit too as a DJ too Go ahead, in the streets. Right. right. So what I'm trying to say is when do we all end the cycle? In what cycle? The cycle of whatever. Like like when the shit like when the streets is connected to the music. Yeah. And back and forth, like, mm-hmm. like obviously, look, like with the Troy Ave situation, like it's continuing, yeah, mm. right? And maybe it never ends. I'm not saying that but we okay, have an answer for but it. Okay, I'm you asking, talking I'm asking. from an angle when the cycle ends? All right, uh-huh. like you talking to a nigga that hip hop po- police used to follow on a day, right? Mm. Oh yeah, you got a show. You're not doing your show today. Right. Shut down Curly right. Top. Curly. I don't know. You don't know who Curly Top is. No, no, no Curly no, Top is the top hip hop. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Police, when you come to New York, you mm-hmm. see Curly Top, mm-hmm. you better run, motherfucker. <laughs> yo, yo, let me tell you, you something. You better run. Hey, listen, one time, one time I seen Curly Top, I tried to touch his his, his shit. He was like, yo, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah. I was like, is that right. ass curl? <laughs> He's like, yo, so like, you gotta he wants to shoot me, my nigga. You come in, you come yeah, in. We, 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 <laughs> dudes from the street. Actually, right? I pull. I call him right, right now. Now you see the um, Bobby Smurda mm. situation, right? Mm. What they doing? The prosecutor and DA in the feds. They're mm. gonna make an example. Out of a nigga because he's a young rapper on the come up. Right. Mm. So they give his man 98 years. Mm. And they give his other man 53 years. Right. So other niggas see that and be like, well, we're gonna make an example out of him because he's a rapper and all the young kids see him and Mm. like Omala. We niggas from the street just trying to come up. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Even the the ad situation. God bless him. I hope he's good. You know what I mean? You got Scott Lee. You know what I mean? Free Troy Ave. But right. you know what I'm Free saying? Troy Situations Ave. happen. You know what I'm saying? And it's the streets. You know now, this, this, this is something I wanted to ask the West Coast dude forever. Because right now in New York, we are really... It's really gang banging for real. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it not, it's never going to be like L.A., not 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 even a little. Are we good? Not even a little bit. But in our hood now, in New York City, there there's actually people who come outside. They wear blue. They hang in the blue section. And now there's people that wear red. Now first, at first, I said to them, I said, "Y'all niggas is fugazi, right?" But then I thought about it. I said, "Then, you know, hip hop is everybody's." So, do you feel like gang cultures could be everybody's, or we will never understand it? Like these I people. I call it a uh, migrant. You call it what? Migrate. Migrate? Yeah, it's migrate. a big word, Daz. I've only got seventh grade education. <laughs> <laughs> migrating. Oh, migrating. Oh, okay, all right. That's when you, it all mixes together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But this, 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 know, this, I mean, is that bugged out to you real, when you see a... No, because it, it looks like it, this. Because I wrote a script, crazy. right? I got a movie. Uh-huh. You know, I would like to be in this movie. It's, it's called uh, <laughs> Respect Do, but right. I call it Colors too. Mm. New York. Mm, in New York, you need me to put this together, Daz. Yeah. This is why we met today. Well, can I say something to you? I'm, I'm, I'm executive producer. Yo, I mean, colors, you know what I'm saying? If you look at colors, it started from the LA. Right. Now, if you go Shall from colors to New York, it's a whole nother Oh, that's a whole right. yeah, yeah. But you gotta, but I'm you cutting gotta, this out the podcast because I'm it's selling it's that movie. But, but this is what I can say. Like, in New York, you got real bloods. 
in real crips. You got niggas right. like Pistol Pete right. that rode around with bodies in their trunk. Right. You got <laughs> niggas that <laughs> was cut niggas on a train on right. some right. blood shit that's just right. for initiation. That's what I'm right. saying. When the murder shit get into it. I just feel like it's real right. everywhere you get. But I feel like, look, a nigga uh-huh. from coming from Southside Jamaica mm-hmm. to moving to Long Island in the mm-hmm. burbs. You understand what I'm saying? Hold on, we gotta Wait, make look, some noise for you. On. Moving to the look, burbs. God damn it. Come on. Make some noise for nigga. Yo, come on, come on, come on. Look, it's a, it's a fucking difference. Right. When I'm in Southside, God bro, the liquor store closed at 12 o'clock, or maybe I can catch the bootlegger. Right. When I'm in Long Island in the Burbs, the liquor store closed at 8, 9 o'clock, nigga. What right. does that tell you? Mm. I can go to Farm Fried, Crown Fried, 4 in the morning. Mm. When I'm in the Burbs, none of that shit is open for me to catch mm. a heart attack or for something mm. for me to happen to me. <laughs> it's a difference. So niggas turn into what their environment is. Mm. If you got a nigga from Brownsville, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and and everybody in his family is crip. What the fuck you think he gonna turn to? You gonna tell right. me that that just because he from New York he ain't a real crip or a real blood? Right. Hell no. Because when we go to Rikers Island, nigga, I wouldn't the, tell him that. Rikers I Island is the realest shit I seen right. in my life. <laughs> right. That's the realest shit I ain't yeah, seen in my life. Like being right. on a I bus. Up in that you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. The so first, I feel the like first one niggas that, turn the into what the environment hey, look, is. The first Peace. ones that pushed that line was like Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, it right. was on there. We see the like documentary. And right. the whole Ice thing Cube is because right. no matter where you, it ain't about where you from, it's where you at, my nigga. Right. right. And you can't take nothing from there. I wouldn't tell near one of them young niggas they ain't what they say they are. Right. Because them niggas, is, yo, you know what? Because them niggas I'm is not mad at the New York gang niggas. Right. We go to Brownsville, you know what? We go to the Bronx, people need to hear that. We go to Queens. I'm always from New York. Push your line, my nigga. Niggas turn into what they environment is. my nigga. You know what I'm saying? If I was still in the hood, what would I be? Locked up, dead, in jail, right. direct sales. Me too. Like, right, what right. would the fuck I be direct, if it wasn't right. for rap sales? I right. check my rap sheet. I got direct right. sales, bell jumping. <laughs> I got all kinds of shit. So if it wasn't for 50 and Jesus and, 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 and niggas. Let's make some noise 50 gone. and Jesus, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's also make noise for Kavol dying. Let me tell you, after 50, listen, after 50 got shot, right? After 50 got shot nine God bless, times, God bless, right? God bless. Right? After he got shot nine right? times. Damn, God. He used to drive from Pennsylvania, PA, in the Poconos with a Mac 10 30 shot clip. Every single fucking that's, day. That's that's like in the movie. We had no was, AC, no right. AC. Plymouth <laughs> van. Right. Me and him driving from Pennsylvania to New York with the Mac every single day. Mm. Now, there's times when we had tour bus full of guns. We could have caught up Bobby Smurda or mm. any one of these cases. Mm. But God was on nigga's side, yeah. right? Mm. And, and you right. know, when as you get older, you look at that shit like, damn. Niggas was lucky, my Got nigga. Break. Right. Mm. Niggas blessed. was lucky, my nigga. Blessed. Mm. Niggas was blessed. Like niggas went as as much y'all mm. niggas wildin' at that mm. time. Like, That's very true. Nineties <laughs> hip hop was different. Like oh, oh, see, boy, I be watching like a lot of the gangster documentaries. Now that uh, queen shit. Uh, yeah. We foul niggas in Queens. It's a mean, fact. You know Let's make some like, noise for us being foul yeah, in yeah, Queens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, let me tell you something. Queens yeah, yeah, remind yeah. me. Queens remind me of LA a lot because uh, as opposed to like, you know, um grass, uh, uh, grass, uh, grass like you know, houses. they always have beef. Y'all in LA all like as far as artists go. Right. Y'all always have and I, I, right. I can't tell because it was cause of y'all crews, cause it was gangs. Neighborhoods. Yeah, or neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Because like to me, City. Queens or Miami, uh, 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 LA. It's just like right. you know what I mean because, like, niggas don't get on. Let me get a bogey. I think it remind me. I think it remind me. Look, wait, you take that. Now nah, I'm gonna take your last one. Go ahead. Am, no, I, am I, I gonna take your last bogey? Oh, oh I'm gonna get next to last bogey. I think because when you go like Compton and shit, you yeah. see grasses, grass and houses and shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they kill that you right there. Queens. They kill you right, right. there. That's the hood. They got a nice grass. But that's the hood. That's the hood. I hung out with you, Corrupt. And inside the house is straight shit. Yeah, I remember I hung out with you, Corrupt, and I, yeah. I was going to a Louisiana <laughs> fried chicken every <laughs> day. <laughs> and then you came and picked me up, and I went to that Louisiana. He said, nigga, what the fuck are you doing getting out of here? I was like, I was coming here every day. He said, the Mexican 
nigga gonna kill you. you know what right. Right. I had no idea what I was doing. It was a Louisiana God. fried chicken. Yeah. And you told me, you said, you nigga, you out of no. line. Come on, <laughs> I'm like, come on, guys. Time to roll. You it's time that? to roll, Ooh, my nigga. It's time and then, to roll. And then I remember God. you brought me to a, it was a, it was a crip block, and I believe a Monster Cody block was right up the block. Uh, it was A Trey Gangster or something. I took you to my neighborhood, uh, uh, And your neighborhood is right six, down the block from that. Right, and then up the Stang uh-huh. on 83rd uh-huh. is where the riots started. Mm, a Trey set wow. that shit off. Mm, they did that, cuz. They put mm, it in. Uh, and that's, that's, that's not Florence hood. and Normandy. That's uh, uh, that's where the riot started. Uh, uh, norm- yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. Right. Let, make some that's noise for me being half an LA nigga. <laughs> good job, nigga. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good good job. Yeah, yeah. Good I ain't job. gonna front. Y'all see, let me tell you, let me tell y'all about the reason why I say that um it reminds us of Queens because like, you know, their hoods is similar to like South Jamaica. Right. South Jamaica has houses. You see houses. We have houses. We yeah. have houses. Yeah. So you yeah. might get confused. You, right. you might be like, oh, you, I'm good. I'm not you, in the hood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in the hood. The yeah, then the niggas right. behind the tree like this. Right. Yeah, <laughs> For right. real. What you doing, my nigga? Right. Like, yeah, what are you what are you doing here? <laughs> nah, you <laughs> yeah. And this is that's the same way they hood is. Like, you, you drive through and you might be like, damn, I don't see niggas outside. Them niggas is outside. Them niggas just looking at your ass because this is a crazy. Crazy shit. When I hung out, when I bunk her up to the Bronx, I had them in the Bronx chilling, <laughs> and they would watch every car go through. And that shit was right. crazy to me because we Everyone. don't watch no car go through. Right, right, and right, every right, car right. that went through, they was like, "I'm like, <laughs> yo, y'all, no, y'all can relax." <laughs> and they like, "Nah, this is this is y'all." They trained to right. like, but in New York, that's the exact opposite. Yeah, we trained to see a nigga walk up. Because in New yeah. York, you could really go anywhere you want. <laughs> right. You could go right. to the Bronx, you could right. go uptown, you could right. go Yeah, you're right. In LA, you can't really yeah, move you can't around move like that. that. Like, yeah. yo, yeah. it's just block. Nah, you can't go over hey, there. Look, we were it's sitting different in New York. Hey. You can move around anywhere you want. We told Corrupt be good, hey, but Corrupt still was, I said, hit hey, the 4-5, hey, my nigga. I'm sitting there with Nori. Nigga's sitting on a little brick thing right there, right? And I'm just sitting there with Nori. Cars just moving so fast. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, cuz. Now you RBS, Cut. all of y'all. It was all of y'all. Cut. Every time a car passed by, y'all all looked, and I, I started like, to realize. You know what I think it is? About LA New niggas York, is, though, look, is, 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 yeah, York, yeah. Look, I didn't know. We didn't have that. Guy. We got I'm not the used to that, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm not used so to that. Niggas come there, they not used to seeing Hell like nah. big ass. Like to go to Rocksdale, you gotta park and go through Rocksdale. Right, that's what I'm saying. Projects ain't big. They might have little buildings. It's different than when you come to New York. Nigga, projects might be. Look right. at left right. Right, look yeah. It's Raven's huge. Board. Yeah, look exactly. Exactly. Come on. Let's nigga. make some noise for Tony Yeo. Yeah, know what he's yeah, talking about. On, right now. One time. One time. But y'all, y'all projects. Y'all projects. Got projects. I mean, we got. They don't got projects. The, the like niggas and gardens. Niggas and gardens. Right. And yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. It's apartments. It's apartments. Apartments. Yeah. 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 Like I when was, I go there, I it feels there. crazy. I no, that's the way it looks. It's like it it's everything's <laughs> up stacked. It's all yeah. crypto <laughs> mustard. Long Same. Beach. No I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> My first time I went to Long Beach, I never saw red. Yeah, like the whole time I was in Long Beach For like two weeks real. I was like the, the, Like the, in, the innocent people Don't wear red You know it's crazy like, In New York It feel like mm, Oh look don't worry, New, York, <laughs> New York It feel like you got more bloods Yeah Than Crips blood. And then when you come to LA It feel like more you got more Crips Than bloods But see and now, Let me tell you why Your movie is Is right and it's that Because See I never knew that Like Crips had beef with Crips until I actually got Man, to LA. Got bloods, and now Bloods got beef with Bloods in New right, York right, right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? That's why your movie is like you 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 you're very Respect intelligent. Dude. Yes, hey, yeah, yeah. That, that that that's hard, man. Respect that's hard. Dude. Man, I can't thank your brothers enough, man. man for just coming it. through, man, sitting down kicking number it. Number one podcast. Is it number one? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. 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 Let's give it up for that. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, let's give it up for young Diana Ross right here, man. Young Diana Ross. Hey, Diana. Where's your Diana? So let me ask y'all before we get up out of here, right? Y'all been doing it for so long. How do you maintain your love for this game? Because I ain't going to lie, when I seen you on Vlad TV, you would look like you was like... You was ready to tell every like fuck the game, like I'm not. I'm, talk, I'm not talking about the artist. I'm talking about like the actual game. Um, 
Uh, like, like, do you still have love for the game? Like, is it, maybe that's a better question. Man, I always got love for the game. You know what right. I'm saying? I wake up, you know, it's, it's all like, that's what I live off of, man. Publish it, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Every, you know, I live off publish it. Every time I turn the radio on, do something, hey, mm. hey there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I create music and do that. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's, it's an everyday thing. My daughter do music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, my, she pimpin', producing. pimpin'. We gonna need you to chill, pimpin'. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> He's pimpin' too. Okay. Hard. So it's an everyday thing. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? It's just about having albums in the can. Right. Right. I'm a person that'll go do seven albums. Now, do y'all got a new album y'all working on? That's right. Yeah. Let's let's talk about that, man. Dad and corrupt, no, corrupt really? and dads. Mm. Oh, yeah, I mean, we finna give him that gangster shit, man. Mm. You yeah. understand me? Mm. You heard a piece of it tonight mm. with that raw. Yeah, with well, French Montana, right? Let's, let's that announce French that on Montana. here. Montana. Right. What's the name of that record? That record That's was hard. called uh, uh, Damn, ain't it? Yeah. yeah, I was about to text y'all on stage. I'm about to make like, so let me do the remix. <laughs> <laughs> let me do the. I was about to text y'all on stage, but I said let me let, me let my niggas live. You did that yeah. a while ago. Oh, Goddamn, that's the name of it. Goddamn. Mm. Might be twisted off of Molly, never know. Mm. Yeah, chinks on that too. Oh, Mr. God bless. Chinks. God bless. Chinks. God bless. Let me big up Jack Thriller because he keep hitting me. And he he's the guy who put this all together today. Yeah, Happy birthday, Jack Thriller. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I have to like book y'all to do this shit. Mm. Um, y'all still fuck with me, right? Yeah, yeah it hurt that your breath is home. <laughs> <laughs> you still my nigga. You still my nigga. You still my nigga. <laughs> Listen, Jack, yo, do you still, still got love for the game, Tony? Yeah, yo. Of like course, the, man, the I'm, game. I'm, I'm, fuck with you, Jack. I'm a fan of hip hop. Like, mm. rest in peace, my man, DJ Rough Hands. Mm. I remember, you know, when a block get peace. hot, we go to the back blocks, mm. we listen to music. You know, we freestyle from, from the Gap Band to Anita mm. Baker to the right. Dog Pound <laughs> right. to CNN mm. to, to fucking Big to Pun. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To Fat Joe, to all mm. this music. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, I'm a nigga, I was around, my man, my right hand man was a DJ. Mm. So in the 90s, when niggas was going to the Ave, going to Hot Wax and buying. Mm. Fat beats. I was a nigga that was going to the avenue and buying DJ Clue tapes, mm. buying Grandmaster Vic, mm. Dog Time. Mm. I was a nigga that was in the party with Freaky Ty and these niggas mm. when 50 started rhyming. Like, so hip hop is just like, I eat, sleep, shit, this shit. Like, it's a mm. part of my life. We wouldn't be mm. here where we are, you know? Yeah. That's right. We owe a lot to hip hop. Yeah, this man. is real, very true. Love look how, look how right. hip hop made the world small. Like, let's, let's just think about it. We're from t- two separate coasts, and it's like we know each other. You you know what I'm saying? That for shit real. is beautiful. You know what I mean? Uh, for real. That's for real. That's for real, man. I mean, for real. And yeah, selling yeah, marijuana. Right. I want to say. We yeah, yo, yo. So, Daz, Daz, let's talk about your. <laughs> let's talk about your. Yo, yo, you got a weed company in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, sure. How do you do this, man? You know, we <laughs> get the finest buds, and mm. you know, we stamp that on there. And right. Because you're a weed connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? It's legal out there. You know what I'm right. saying? So, mm. you know, dpgbuzz.com. Uh, DPG, DPG Buds? Yeah. That's hard. Mm-hmm. You bitch. I like my man Horn Game. Sometimes. <laughs> Yo, where twin at? This is how you supposed to be blowing the horn, twin. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck is twin you at? You about to lose your job. Twin, BJ. Twin, you fired, nigga. You about to be fired before you hired. What you got to say, stupid? Hold this is the question I want to ask Dog Pound, Noriega. Mm. Mm. Have y'all niggas been to Amsterdam? Of course I know I've y'all been all been to Amsterdam. Been there, of course I've been to Amsterdam. So when y'all go to Amsterdam, where y'all go? Do y'all go to Greenhouse? And Greenhouse? I go to um, Green Place as well. That is my right. favorite place in right. Amsterdam, Green Place. Um, you, I don't know if I got a famous picture with me with three tons of weed, and <laughs> that was in Green Place. Green Place. Green Place. I love it. Baba's. And Baba's. the gray area is also a great place in um, the gray area. Shit in there. We go in there and inspect. You know, they already yeah. know when we Because yeah, y'all in West Coast niggas. Y'all, y- y- y'all lungs is spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all lungs are y'all lungs spoiled, man. We ain't got spoiled lungs like yeah, that in man. New York. Yeah. Smoke the best weed. Y'all got the best. Hey, I'm going to be honest, cuz. Y'all worst yeah. weed is good. Y'all had some motherfucking shit out there in New York called Hydro that was bomb. Mm. That yeah. shit it's was It's called Sour bomb. now. It's called Sour now. That shit. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's all we got. got. I smoked that shit. Yeah, that's all we got. But I done came to L.A. Cripping, cripping. Smoked y'all weed and almost set that. What's that hotel of Beverly? I'm going to set that bitch on fire. 
Sleeping. Right. Fucking around with that Selling bomb. pillows right. on fire. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, but no, now, now, Karol, now, Karol, I got to ask you this direct, because there's a lot of fake moon rocks out there. It is. Can you tell the people how to get the real moon rocks, and then how do you feel about the fake moon rocks in the building? I mean, you know, man, when you number one, Capone man. Capone Frank came with fake moon rocks It's just today. like Nikes, man. You know, when you number one, it's just like, it's like a genius. Right it's just like <laughs> Capone, Capone, Capone Frank. just enjoying himself, man. No, He's in his own zone. Where's the jersey nigga? Is that? They're not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fake moon, moon rocks today. I smoked it. I said, man. You know, corrupt I mean, coming, right? Corrupt moon rocks. That's the real deal, man. You know that's the real deal. Because your shit come in the bag, crack, right? Man, you understand? A bag? No, it comes in the jar. The jar. Yeah, See, if it that's come in the I bag. Throw that shit in the trash. This nigga had it in the bag. That's yeah. a fact. Got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? But we're going to educate him to right. this game. Right. Like, call Boom you. Game. Get it direct. I mean, get it for real. Get it for real. I yeah. mean, get, can, can you dig it? Yeah, who wants to sell fake coke? Come oh, on, man. Come on. <laughs> come on. I mean, you can get Vegas the real. Played out. Or Let's you do can it. get the yeah, fake. But ain't, I tell ain't everybody. The fact is, ain't New York League. We, we, we close. We close. We close. No, no, we not. Once y'all get legal, we almost decriminalize. We have to real out there, too, right? Is your medical? We'll never let that happen. No, no, no. Yeah, baby. Niggas got the liquid, like, the liquid. But the liquid, is that what I got right there? 25 grand. What? Look at the liquid did the Gabons. You don't want that liquid. <laughs> look, 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 look what it did to Capone. I don't even know what he said. What language is that? Yeah. Look what it did to Capone. Yo, listen. It's okay, Capone. Y'all got the best weed in LA. Y'all got the Yeah, you got the best weed in LA. Yeah, I mean, we got the best weed in LA. Love New York. I'm a New York nigga, but y'all got the best weed. Yeah, you got the best weed. I got to admit that. I got to admit that. Hey, California, California got the best weed. Y'all niggas come to New York and be mad when y'all want to buy weed. Y'all be mad. Don't front. Don't front. You ain't got to front. Don't 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 front. Y'all love it. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's very true. It's options. very true. Options. You got options. You got options. Bubble cookies. Bubble right. cookies. What the cookies. fuck? Moon <laughs> rock. You got options out. Right. Right. Ah. You just got it on the weed. I get it to y'all. And you can order your Straight weed up. online. DBG. What is it? DBG.com. You got to be over 21. You go to the site. <laughs> <Got> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the name of the site again? WWDPG Buds with a Z. With a Z. Mm. And yeah. how about the Moon Rocks? I mean, the Moon Rocks, man. Moon you gotta be a part of the club. Mm. Got you. Cause see, mm. what we do, cause on the reels, we we supply over thirty percent to forty percent of all the dispensaries in, in California. California. Mm. That's a lot of money. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So our shit is, yeah, our shit is straight legalized. It's a real business. Code. I calculated that fast. Yeah, it's a, a real business. Ours is only in the state of Washington. Only in the state of Washington, the Seattle, Washington, correct? Just the like state the and that's where we're Dakota. going next. Washington, okay. and then we're going to Oregon, and then mm. we're going to Arizona mm. and DC. Colorado. Because DC, DC is legal too. I just did a cannabis cup out there. Yeah, Obama and made BC. that pop yeah, yeah. before he yeah. you know, jumped out of there. Yeah. Shout out to Obama. Shout out to Obama. Yeah. So now, let me ask y'all a question. Though. Okay, mm, go ahead. So I like this. Flip it on us, yeah. How can a nigga have a dispensary? Because this is what I've been studying. Mm. You have a dispensary. But the, the state might clear it, but the feds don't clear it. So you see motherfuckers with dispensary, they got armed guards moving 500000 a million dollars, whatever. I don't understand You that, don't man. have to worry about that in the state of Washington. Mm. <laughs> you don't got to worry about that. The state versus the feds, but in Washington and Colorado... They Sky's all in cahoots. Mm. Learn something new every day. You pay taxes mm. on this shit, man. The sky's the limit in them two places. Mm. The sky's the limit in Washington, Colorado, California. The sky's the limit in California. State this year. Yeah, well, you know, they don't fuck around with the... And, you know, my thing is, see, this is it. See, we supply the dispensaries. They on their own after that, Jack. <laughs> 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 okay, yo, man, yeah, yeah, this, this is this is this is so awesome, man. I'm gonna be honest, man. You know, yeah, yo, man. I, I want to thank you for yo, being a part man, of this, man. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm with the legends. Right, Capone, right. what's up, Capone? He died. He died. Rest, right. in peace. Rest in peace, Capone. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gabon. Yeah. Your dad. Oh, man. <laughs> Vegas, man. Vegas. Some got to Your dad, man. Sorry, man. You know, Sorry. I want to thank you. You know, uh, one time I had said something on the internet, Corrupt didn't like it, and you was the person who <laughs> called me, and you made sure we straightened that out like the big brother you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanted to thank you for that because I, I didn't have Corrupt number, and you know what? I want to apologize, Corrupt, because I didn't mean nothing by it, but if you I took it as offense, I want to apologize because you're my brother, man. I and I want you to always know that. 
you know, I love you, son. But I want to give Daz, you know, I, I want to give Daz the, the props for for actually hitting me and saying, man, come on, come come on, we, we get on the phone. And I, I, you know what? That's what we need in hip hop. And for you, right? From when you did that. For for me because that's my homie and I ain't know I offended him in no way shape form or fashion. That's grown man shit. But from that moment on, I had got Troy Ave on the phone with Styles P and made them squash their shit. Good job. I had got you know uh, Jay Z on the phone with Fat Joe and squash their shit. Good I even job. got Drake on the phone with DMX Woo. and squash their shit. But I was inspired from that phone call that you yeah pop my collar thank you. Um, I was inspired. <laughs> From that call because you know I love corrupt yeah. and you know how it was and, yeah. and and you you knew you had that line on me and oh, I yeah. thought that was some grown man real that's real killer shit to me that's right a part there of growing up in hip hop right you know what I'm saying so you know right. That, that was dope, man. That was dope, man. I can't thank you enough, Daz. Yeah, I can't thank you enough, Corrupt. You know, me and you, you we've been friends for, forever, man. We done, we done barbecued in my crib. Fuck we done, right, we done, we done, we done, I done had you on the block. We done, we done did everything. I remember you made a diss record and you, you came to New York and I held you down. I said, nigga, you okay? That's you, you okay? That's you, 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 look, you said, you, you said, you said, cuz I ain't supposed to be out here. I said, you with me. That's when you, you gave okay. me. That's when you gave me. And you remember Rough Riders in the club and everything that night. That's when you gave me that 40 Nickel. Yeah, I said corrupt. You okay? You now, know what I'm saying? All the time I was with, all the time I was with Inga, right? And we was out there, me and Inga. Mm-hmm. Nori always came through and that's core right. and core mega. That's right. That's yeah. right. We held you down. But Nori man. gave me that forty nickel. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's yeah, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's over seven years ago, yeah, so fans suck my dick. All right. Yeah, right. So listen, <laughs> <laughs> they can't come and get me. Maybe yeah, I should have yeah. said detectives. Yeah. This was you in nineteen eighty. I'm sorry, nineteen eighty. I didn't mean that. You know what I mean? But listen. <laughs> <laughs> nigga straightened up real quick. Nigga sobered up, nigga sobered up mad fast. You know that? Hey, yeah, listen, man. Hey, we're yeah. keeping it real goes wrong. We're keeping it real goes wrong. Oh, so once man. again, man, yo, we're in Las Vegas, man. You know, Vegas. We, we know this other podcast that's coming here next week. We know this other podcast is going to do. And they, and, you know, I don't, we don't even wow. know their names. But um, they said, because they posted a post and they said, it's not about who do it first, it's about who do it better. There's no way they can get better than Tony, nah, yeah, yo. Nah, you lit. You There's no way they can get better than DPG. There's no way they could get better than Drew Hill and a lit. dead Capone. Let's make some noise for that. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some noise for that. Hey, you know, on our yeah. show. Yo, we gon' we gon' yeah, listen, listen. We gon' bury him and then wake him up. That Cali weed, man. Hey, he said that, we gon' bury Cali him and then wake him up. Yeah, yeah, wake him up. We got He's alive. I'm telling you. Listen, yo, Daz. <laughs> no, no, but time out, Daz. Can you be my witness? Yes, sir. You walked in the club. What's the first thing I said to Capone? I said, stop what. Drinking that brown with that white. That white. Oh, he Thank did you. That? Oh, he's listen, bugging. he's bugging. He's bugging. He's tripping. He's, yo, listen, first off. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. If you was in left spot, you could get a pass. You were in Las Vegas. You need to be on point, goddammit. You need to be drinking that. That's that's the old rumor. No, that's an old rumor. That's an old rumor. What happens in Vegas is coming to 41st side. It's coming to 41st side. That's an old rumor. It's coming to 41st side. On Burning Boulevard. That's an old rumor. Yeah, it's an old rumor. It's an old rumor. Let, let, once again, man, I can't tell you guys enough, man. This is real hip hop. We, we don't we don't cater to. I, I'm not a journalist. I don't Google nobody. I don't do that. I sit down and have real talk. And, and me and my partner EFN, man. I'm sorry. I, I stole your mic. No, today. we got we got we, we, we lost the mic tonight. Yeah, we lost the mic, you mic know what I'm saying? Down, mic and down. guess what? This is this is one of my favorite episodes. This has been off it's out of control. I was telling fun, people man. to shush the whole time, like I was in a the movie theater because they say black people talk in the movie theater. And guess what? Black people talk during the <laughs> podcast. We just realized that. And guess what, man? We're having fun. Little pimping. Yes. I just upgraded you to big pimping. Yeah. You are now big pimping. Big and I love West Coast niggas, man. I'm gonna be West honest. Coast. We're gonna go do a whole West Coast. Man, I also got a shout out Snoop. <laughs> yeah. Snoop was in the uh, uh, studio with Swiss. They both hit me up on and said, "Man, we love what you're doing, your thing on the podcast." Because this is for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Weed with Snoop. And okay. I started feeling spiders in my body. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you about this West Coast weed. I'm gonna get. We gonna end it with this. One time, Snoop was in New York, right? Right. And he came. I filmed it. This is for the What What documentary exhibit. 
And <laughs> and you know I, I brought all my you know my my niggas wear uh, uh, Yankee outfits, which right. is blue. Right, right. So they they ain't mine. They were crip. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So <laughs> so we went to go see Snoop and. Snoop just keep passing us blunts, keep passing us blunts. So my gangster niggas is, is disappointed in me. They're like, why y'all not smoking as much as Snoop and them smoking? So we sitting there like, and I'm filming, and I'm like, damn, I got tired. I felt like I ran a marathon, yeah, right? So Snoop, my man. niggas was disappointed. They was like, y'all let Snoop smoke y'all out in New York. Yo, so mind you, right? Now, Snoop hit me. He's doing a man show. It's in Bishop Don Juan crib. Right, right. You, who remembers this? Somebody said, yeah. All right, fuck y'all. <laughs> well, because there's not too many witnesses when we smoke Snoop back right, out. Right, right. So we go to Bishop Don Juan crib, and I buy a pound just for that. And I just, I stay, and then Snoop said, I'm good. I smoked enough. And I was like, I won back. It's yeah. one one. It's one one. <laughs> but yeah, Snoop, listen, let me, this, this is when I knew this nigga's an OG. He was staying on like the 17th floor, right? right. We hit the 10th floor and the smoke alarm was on the 10th floor. <laughs> you smelled the weed from the 10th floor. And we walked in and the hotel was just like, it's Snoop, nigga. <laughs> like, I was like, that's all. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's all. They didn't even get played. Like, they didn't even yeah. get played. So, yo, man, again, I can't thank y'all enough. Capone, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna bring you back to life, baby. Um, but, yo, uh, Dog Pound Gangsters, man. Dads and Corrupt, man. Yo, dads, you know, yeah. I went, I look at your discography, discography me, and it's one thing that I can ask for you. I need before everything is all over. I'm gonna do one more album, man. And then the last album, I need a dad's beat, man. You know what I'm saying? I need a dad's beat, man. I'm gonna be in. And I don't, want, I don't want to do that bullshit. Send me an email. I don't want to do that. I'm flying to you wherever you at. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna smoke. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Corrupt, man. You know I love you, man. I love all y'all, man. Yo, Tony, yeah, yo, man. Thank you for participating in this thing, man. You know, we needed a G unit. These people is starving for G unit and death death row stories. And I and I I, 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 never in a million years would I think I could get both of them together. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really appreciative. And the thing you know about this. Is you know these fans they go out and they they, they buy these albums again and and, and they reminisce and, and 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 this is a, such a beautiful thing because this ain't no journalist running this shit this is a, this is the inmates running the building right. you know what right, I mean right, right, this right, is right, a dude right. getting out the bing nah, and being a warden you know what I'm saying so I want to make some noise for me and EFN it's 4:40 in the morning in New York City in New York City and and, and listen all right you off duties now. And Jack Thriller, and Jack Thriller, man, yo, man, I got, I got to thank you, Jack Thriller. I've been thanking everybody else. I got to thank you, man, for participating, being what you got to do, and, and letting me gas you to start your own podcast. You know what I'm saying? Because you a funny dude, and I think you should start your own podcast and do your own podcast. And we just so proud to be here, man. We're gonna keep getting drunk. We're gonna yeah. keep smoking. Yeah. But, um, I, ain't saying, I ain't saying we gotta go home, but we're gonna get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna front. This is the Funky worst piss I've had in taking my whole life. Oh, you want first? Go, go first. Go first.